the decimal drift feature is selected sometimes there is an anomaly within uh, a vendor and the way QuickBooks calculates the tax sometimes it will round up sometimes it will round down so it's very possible that this particular invoice has an item that is 701 for tax but it's possible that when it's extracted uh, as 701 and we push it to QuickBooks that it will not show as 701 but it'll show in QuickBooks as seven dollars so we use the decimal drift as a way to be able to correct that so if there's any issues in your documents where you're pushing to QuickBooks and the tax is incorrect, select the decimal drift and then save it.